Ghost Recon Breakpoint. How it hurt, man. When it came out, how this shit hurt. <laughs> this is obviously the sequel game to Ghost Recon Wildlands. And, oh, what the fuck did I just press? I'm pressing buttons. It's the walk button. How do I, no, that's not how I walk. How, how do I slow walk? <laughs> is that even a thing? Why is night vision V? Yeah, so Ghost Recon Wildlands, obviously... No, ah, fuck! Ghost Recon Breakpoint, obviously, is the sequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands. It came out a few years later, back in 2019, yeah? This game flopped. This game hit hard. It really just... It was bad. It was really, really bad when it came out. Over the years, they've improved this game. Obviously, they added the first basic function Wildlands had, which is the AI teammates. Because, I mean, if you're not playing this game with other people, it's not very fun to play it by just alone. Even with the AI teammates, it's kind of fun, I guess. Because you can obviously, you can do the squad-orientated stuff, so it's okay. But yeah, back in uh, 2019, this game came out. It was a survival looter shooter. Yeah, let that sink in. It was a survival game and a looter shooter. This was obviously the same in the uh, technical test a few months before the game released, which, by the way, I played. And it was the exact same on launch as it was in that. Nothing had changed it with the game. This game looks good. It's very pretty. And functionally, the game is one-to-one -one the same as Wildlands. Driving, shooting, fighting, it all works the exact same as Wildlands. Customization was a bit changed, where you have to use an in-game currency to buy stuff. It's got a banana, nice. But yeah, this game was basically a Wildlands expansion. The map was a massive step down from Wildlands. These like islands aren't as good as Bolivia. The the biomes are roughly the same everywhere. There's like a little snow place, is about it. It's not much like to differentiate. And the story was heavily weakened in this game. It was all about killing this guy called Walker. Who was the guy from the end of Wildlands, uh, Mr. Punisher's character. That was about it. And I went and killed him 10 minutes into starting this game. Obviously I picked this game up a few years after release. And played it for a little bit. I liked it, I, I enjoyed it quite a decent amount. It's not a bad game now. There's still a lot of things that are wrong with this game. But it's a lot better than it was. And if you're someone who enjoyed Wildlands, I would definitely recommend just picking it up. Because at the end of the day, there is some fun to be had with this game. It's just a matter of, you know, perception, I guess. Because if, if you like Wildlands, if you play and you enjoy... Oh, what the fuck did I just press? I pressed the wrong button. If you like and you enjoy Wildlands, you will enjoy this game. Because it is just more of what you like once you've tweaked the game. Anyway, I've got to go find a biovac there, like the little camps and shit. You know, if you remember like the fucking outpost FOB's place from Wildlands, it's basically that stuff. I've got to go find one so I can start a mission for, with the old Ghost Recon guy, uh, Scott Mitchell. So yeah, we got, we got to go and find a thing. Got to have a little bit of a sail upstream, you know how it is. Uh... Yeah, the environments in this game, I mean, they're not bad, and, well, the map doesn't really look bad either, but, again, it, when you compare this map to Wildlands, it really is just, like, it's such a step down, you know? I mean, fucking hell, this game is riddled with microtransactions, as you now have to come and expect from Ubisoft alone, and obviously there was, like, the recent Ubisoft Quartz shit they tried to pull as well. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> just classic Ubisoft being Ubisoft, I guess. But no, this game, as of now, obviously, it's been little under four years since it came out. The game's improved a lot, a lot. It is very much a better game than it was. And yeah, like I said, if you like Wildlands, you will probably enjoy this game to the most part. Ghost Actual, this is Nomad. Tell me about Kraken. I'm ready to go fishing. Copy. Kraken.
Kraken's a former There's Russian Navy there. subcaptain, Miroslav Semenovich. He pirated his whole crew for the enemy operation Go and sneaked them into there. a row in a submarine. Now, the submarine's set to transport the fully operative gas drones to the U.S. for the terrorist attack. Killing him may at least force Stone to find another way to bring the drone stateside. I'm sending you his last known position. Barbecue the squid. Got it. Nomad out. Yeah, the dialogue doesn't change much. That's something they haven't changed. The dialogue is still really cringe. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something you can definitely be sure of. I reckon I'm gonna grab the helicopter real quick that's nearby. I'm gonna grab that. Do a little bit of theft. This game, if anything, it got perfect. It was the sound design. Watch the earth. I'll size them up. Starting scan. They did a lot good with that. Which is really nice to say. Be careful. Sniper up ahead. Let me get a clean shot. Roger. Moving. On your go, ghost lady. Sniper ID. I'm trying to wait for this bitch to stay still, but I don't think it. No, we got it. Cool. I just didn't think it would stay still, and I was worried I'd mess. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, I really like the sound design of this game. Both in like weapons and all that other shit. That's enough. Vehicles outside. <laughs> yeah, I like the sound design of this game a lot. It is very nice. I've had stupid jobs before. This game still does really well with making you feel like a badass when you do all this sort of shit. It is still good at it. Those spec op shipbirds who've been raiding all those camps and facilities. They can't be everywhere at once, though. Yeah, well, the point is we shouldn't be having this conflict. Hostile down, ghostly. Got a hostile position there. Well, there's a lot of new things they tried with this game. For example, how they're making, like, the enemies seem like people. And it is nice, it is a really nice addition to the game. In the long run, I would like to say it helped. And the takedown animations. Oh, I'm going to have to show one in the video, but the takedown animations, when they aren't bugging out, are actually really cool. Yeah, this kind of does seem like it's the same. I mean, the, the Wildlands flying wasn't bad, so... There's nothing to really complain about, because like I said, the Wildlands flying weren't bad. I don't even know what my mission is, I'll be honest. Uh, Such a Kraken in Control Station Tiger 2. Fenbog? The east of Fenbog. Okay, so probably around here then. Oh, I'm, I'm blind. I read it wrong. It's on the coast. So it's just, oh, yeah, it is over there. Dude, I'm fucking blind. What the hell? I just thought it was on the east of Fenbog. No, it's the coast, of, the coast east of Broughton Channel. I am fucking blind. Okay, so it's got, yeah, it's got to go this one. <laughs> nice one, me. Nice one, me. I've been thinking, right? I've never actually played any of the DLCs, like Narco Road, uh, and like all the other shit. I forgot what the other one's called. For Wildlands, I never actually played the DLCs. Are they any good? Because I'm thinking at some point, if they're good, I might like to pick them up and try them. Because I never actually got around to playing them. I never had them. I never bought them. You know? So if they're any good, I mean, fuck it. I might give them a try. It'll be nice. Because I'm. Actually playing a lot of Wildlands right now. I'm actually quite getting back into the game and enjoying it quite a bit. And that was pretty. They, they tried to save it, you know. They tried to bring the game back and save it by doing these things, but it it, it didn't work out as well as they wanted, which is a shame. 
Because this, this game really could have been a major fucking W. Not only for Ghost Recon, but for Ubisoft. It could have been one of their, like, great games. Because Wildlands was. Again, Wildlands was fucking great. But th this game just didn't hit. And it's because of the executives and their greed, you know? Oh, there's a lot of guys here, aren't there? Uh, there's some enemies in this game. They've got like actual like Modern Warfare 20 fucking 2, like from 2009 Modern Warfare 2 juggernaut armor with like miniguns and shit. It's cool as fuck. They are pretty cool. Oh, he's snitching the fucking loser. He's snitching. Oh, he's dead now. That's right. He's dead. I love doing it. I love it. I just got a comment on my Wildlands video like right now saying, turn off your HUD. <laughs> oh, if he sees this video, he's going to see if... But, I mean, I, I might actually do another Wildlands video. It was a lot of fun. So I'll probably do it again, I'm going to be honest. Without HUD, because it was kind of fun without HUD. So I might. I might. Free, to be honest, I'm gonna go get my helicopter. I'm gonna go find this guy and kill him. Yo, actually, talking about it, right? That Ghost Recon Wildlands video I did is—I don't know why, but it's done well. It's got 838 views at the moment. It's done really well, and I'm not quite sure why. Obviously, I'm not here complaining. I'm actually really happy that the video has done well, but it's just weird, you know, because normally my videos would get about 20, oh fuck, oh, 20, 30 at most views. Like anywhere between like 15 to 30 is what it normally gets on any video that isn't as short, right? But this video's popped off. I don't know why. Maybe it is just solely Ghost Recon's got like a very active YouTube community that watches the videos. I'm not sure. But it, it's sick. I'm really happy about that. Because it, it's like, you know, people, have, for once, people have actually watched the video of mine. So it's, it's just nice. It's got a good interaction as well. I'm happy with that. Hopefully this one does the same. <laughs> And we'll clear our way through to like the center of the building, town thing, base, whatever the fuck it is. Alright, I'll just take out my snipers first, innit? Oh, is it? That's quite shit. Bro, why did it take so long to tag that guy? That was a pain in the ass. Stay Many why does he keep stopping? I'm holding W, bro. Stop. Why does he keep like stopping on the ladder? Where does fuck? That was a little bit too close. <laughs> that was a little bit too- what the fuck? Where did you come from, man? Yeah, that was a little bit too close, I'm gonna be honest. That was a bit too close, I didn't like that.
Alright, let's get this guy around the corner and we'll try and pick him off. Come on, bro. Oh, fuck. What? He survived? Good hit. Oh, no. Now he didn't. That's He's dead now. Oh, yeah, that was it. You can, like, break your limbs and shit as well when you take a certain like, damage. You can get, like, wounded and shit. I always thought that was a pretty cool thing, but... It's, it's really, again, it's a whole dependent thing. I thought it was kind of cool. But there's a lot of people who also dislike it, you know. Copy, I'm here. Send your traffic. Kraken's dead, but it looks like we have a bigger problem. The submarine's autopilot's been locked in. This thing could still reach the U.S. whether Kraken is alive or not. We can't let that happen. Completely destroying the submarine will be too difficult. Maybe you can cripple it. You'll have to figure this one out yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'll improvise. No matter. I mean, yeah, that's that's calm, I guess. I don't want to be shit, man. We're gonna destroy it now, are we? Okay, I definitely will just die. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hopefully this is close enough for us to go then. Hopefully. I'll I thought that weapon would be quieter, so it'd be better to use that, I'll be honest. I think I was actually right on that call. Uh, no one below me. No. Man, I miss the simple, easy days of killing Santa Blanca and Unidad. What changed, man? What changed? Yeah, that's just about right. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The animations are really cool, but it's just when they bug out, it kind of fucks it, you know? When they don't bug out, they are cool as fuck, dude. They are so cool. A lot of the civilians just don't care either. They ain't really reacting much. They ain't give a fuck. As long as it's not them, they ain't give a fuck. Get the guy at the end of the pier, I'm gonna take him out as well, just to be safe. I reckon that is probably my best bet, if I, if I take that guy out. If I clear like a side by side, it's my best bet to not get caught. You can't get caught if there's no one alive, you know? Sabotage the hatch, and use the maintenance computer link to the generator to fry it. Should work. Yeah, I'll just take this guy real quick as well. Yeah, I'm pretty cool, aren't I? Alright, let's have a look, what's in there? No, it's, like, it's above, isn't it? It's up above, I've got to climb. Clear. Gone. I probably could have got a collat there. Thinking about it, I probably could have, but... Oh well, whatever, doesn't matter. Just raising my chances, mate, that's all I'm doing. Upping my chances. I have a feeling completing the objective is going like, to set off an alarm and put, you know, put on like, a really fucking high alert, you know? Is completely neutralized. Bro, that was underwhelming. What the fuck, man? That was underwhelming as shit. The terrorists will have to find another way to transport the gas drones to the U.S. Alright, we gotta just gotta kind of kill him so I can get out. 
I gotta make my escape now. But, you know, uh, the action in these games are fun, that's for sure, but the stealth is a bit off. It's, it's very much like a 50-50, it will be a shit environment or a good environment, you know? No one's out here. Getting in position. That also goes for um, Wildlands as well, not just Breakpoint, that's it. Oh, you need shorter boy. Oh, no, there's one more guy left, right? That poor last remaining guy is about to die. It's over. It's over for him. Alright, let me cross over. Let me get this guy. I'm about to stop this bitch, bro. Watch. He dead. Did I hear that? Uh, uh, I got a beat on him. Uh, uh, uh. 